Salvete Spectatores, the Roman Vulcan here, and welcome to my live reaction to the Nintendo Switch presentation. Wait, did I say my live reaction? I mean our live reaction. Say hi, Nick. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, this is my younger brother, guys. And, well, we're going to be reacting together to pretty much this info dump of the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, so you getting ready? You hyped and ready, Nick? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Certainly hope they reveal new Smash. Mm-hmm. Or maybe the old one for the Switch with some new bells and whistles. That'd be nice, too. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Now it sounds like some silly talk show. Right? Well, who knows? Maybe that's what it could turn into. All right. I don't have the chin, though. True, but we do have the mini games. Mm hmm. Well, anyway, as you'll see on the screen, as I, I'll put this up during editing, I actually made, our, made us a little make your own bingo Nintendo Switch. Um, what? Oh, yeah. It's a bingo card. I cannot talk. Forgive me. It's a pretty nice bingo card, too. Yep. But anyway. We have a we came up with 24 things that we either think will be there or would like to see individually be there. I sincerely doubt they'll put Mortal Kombat into this lineup though. Yeah. Although I although they have surprised us before and there have been those the series has been on N Nintendo consoles before, although some didn't control very well from what I heard. True. And not to mention Thanks to the ESRB, the 1 through 3 actually did get a port to the SNES. Yeah, that makes sense. And anyway, but some other things that we put on here. And I just would like to talk with Nick a bit and give, us our, give you our ideas of what we may just see as we're going on, right before. We'll stop right as it goes and turn up the volume. That's so I can make sure I sync it correctly in editing. FYI. Mm, what's that booping, I wonder? Huh. That's weird. Okay, I'm sorry about that. No, it's not. But sorry about the interruption probably a thing they're doing for sound testing. Okay. But anyway, there are a bunch of things. To start, one of the things we're hoping to see is a good launch lineup. Which, yeah, from what I remember, the Wii U didn't really have that strong of one. No, one of their biggest games was a uh, Zombie U, which got ported to other systems fairly shortly. Yeah. And even that one wasn't all too strong. Sorry, Ubisoft. I know that was your first property, but still. But something that's kind of more a pipe dream. A sequel to... That I think it would be a sin to not experience this punishment from a certain treasure of a series. Sin and punishment. Having the third game on the Switch. And possibly with... If it has motion controls. New the same system that the second game, St Star Successor, had. <laughs> oh, yeah, I I played that, and thanks thanks to the quarter guy for for showing that to me he, in his in his video. Well, if it doesn't have those motion controls, they might just have to make the game easier again. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. Sin and Punishment 2. And they actually had to make it harder just because this new system worked so well, and and at least with rail shooters, motion controls can work. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. For example, Time Crisis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or any light gun game. True. And, and arguably... Yep. Yeah, technically, yeah, the Zapper was, in a way, a sort of motion control. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. But, still. Let's see, what else? Of course, we also have... Their new NFCs. Yeah, yeah, the Amiibo. It would be a bit dumb not to have Amiibo on. 
they spent so much time marketing and making the darn things. Now that they finally got them in a good production line, they better use them. As long as someone doesn't buy out all of the Rosalinas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ed, talk about not thinking before acting on your hate. And I'm not sure that was even real to begin with. That's very possible. But yeah, another thing. Yeah, some more technical parts that we're hoping to hear. Specifically, yeah, not just all the tech specs and geeky stuff. Okay. All right, the the memory, how much the cards may hold, and... The biggest thing, battery life. Yep. And also, though, also, I am pretty sure they it will come with a charger that will, can plug into a car or a... Or an outlet. But some peripherals for it would be pretty nice, too. Yep. They already showed one, the Pro Controller. Yeah. And Still, I wouldn't mind some of those uh, silly third-party plastic things that sold with the Wii so popularly. Hmm. I'm not sure how popular those were, and you had to take the Wii out of the jacket. True. But still. Well, they were popular with some people. Mm-hmm. But yeah, something else else is yeah, that Nick brought up to me. Security features. Especially because it's technically mobile. Oh, thanks, Rex. And by the way, we have a dog nearby who apparently is a bit gassy right now. Sorry about that, TMI. But moving on. Yeah, the... It's going to be... I don't know really what to expect with the security features, but... It's probably going to be a basic uh, password screen. Fairly easy to set up, fairly easy to use, and pretty hard to crack. Alright, but let's go for some other things. Specifically, some other peripherals. For example, one of the things I kind of hope they will make compatible... Wiimotes and GameCube controllers... Especially because with the rumor that GameCube games are going to be on the VC now. Yeah, it'd be pretty stupid to put those on plus Smash without any accessibility for those old controllers. Yep. So that's just a rumor. And, and more v more virtual console games would be fun too. I remember even hearing the rumor of, of Mother 3. That would certainly be nice. Get it out of development hell Well. Oh well, no, it, it's con not. continental lock hell anyways. Yeah, copyright from from many things. You yeah, did you know that Peaceful Rest Valley was originally Grateful Dead Valley? Mm. Yeah, and that band, I forget their name. They were originally all dressed in tuxedos mm. in black. Guess what? Guess what? What? Blues Brothers? Yep. But yeah, and also, with the Virtual Console accepting Wii games, that also worked out pretty well. That, I mean, that would work out with Wii modes, And you wouldn't have to just throw them away with your Wii. Or Wii U. But, who knows. I don't know about you, I'm keeping the Wii. Alrighty. Yeah, it actually gave a good bit of... Yeah, I know... People aren't all that fond of motion controls at times, but I think it was a good start, and had and they have their uses. Though we may be a bit biased since we grew up on them, the Wii being our first console and all. Yeah, which, well, we didn't exactly grow up on them. We grew up on the computer games. True, but this was our first dedicated console. Yep, and I'm pretty sure... Sorry, PC fans, I am pretty sure... That consoles aren't going anywhere. True. Okay, and it's almost time. Nearly. I'm turning. And one more thing. Uh, yeah, smart device compatibility. Maybe because well, Nintendo. Be careful with the volume there. Okay. But let that's enough of that. Volumes up. We are down to the last minute. Any anything else you wanted to mention on this, Nick? Nope, not really. I think yeah, it's just just one more thing though that we did put on it. Maybe they expand to more than just the kids' game. Maybe even bringing in some new 
um, mature content. Maybe, but I expect it would be third party. Yeah. With one exception. Okay. On the virtual console, Eternal Darkness. MAY THE RATS EAT YOUR EYES! Thank you for that brilliant mental image. Yeah, but... Okay, here we go. And... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... And let's -a go! Yeah. Down goes the music. Sorry about the volume here. We're adjusting it so it doesn't blast our eardrums out. Yep. Okay. Hmm. So... Who's gonna be out first? It's... Yeah, I d I'm not sure if Reggie's gonna show up. Who knows? Maybe he's still stuck on that island. Wow. Yeah, Bill might be eating donuts. <laughs> Would not be surprised. Konnichiwa! Hello, everyone. Ooh, we'll take a voice over I'm person. Tatsumi Kimishima, yep. from Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much to all of you who have joined us here today. You're, you're very welcome. We're you, glad to be here. Presentation live in yeah. mm -hmm. Many people around the world watched the Nintendo Switch video we released in October of last year. Ha 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 ha! Yeah! More than a few. Positively to it. Mm -hmm. Yep. This video introduced the Nintendo Switch console, Nintendo Switch dock. Yep. And there are the USB Joy -Con ports. Grip. Yep. And I hope that has some Joy -Con controllers. The, some gyro gyroscope well, sensors. Pro It'd be nice. Yep. Pro controller Nintendo has a cool Switch design. Yep. It's a console that can be played while connected to your television, but it is also a system you can bring with you to share the fun wherever you go. But will it play Skyrim? That's the question. Nintendo Switch Special Edition. is a brand new kind of home so. gaming system mm -hmm. that offers a wide diversity of play styles. Yep, that might mean a wide audience. In today's Hopefully. presentation, we intend to provide a detailed introduction to the Nintendo Switch hardware and software. Yep, we're gonna get tech specs. Yay. We're gonna scratch that off. I'd like to begin by introducing the Nintendo Switch launch date. Okay, the retail launch. price and online services. Hey, here we go. Starting off with the Nintendo stuff. Switch will release simultaneously on March third. Ho ho! Hey! The US, Just a week before your birthday. Canada, Indeed. Major European countries, mm -hmm. Hong Kong, and other territories. Yep. You have less than two months to go. This Indeed. is the suggested retail price for Nintendo Switch. And it is? It will be 29,980 yen. That's 300. Around. Mm hmm. Okay. In North America, it will be. $299. Yeah. A bit more than we thought, but still pretty good. Mm hmm If it is all that, it's cracked up to be. Yep. The price in Europe, Let's have our fingers very much crossed. Retailer. Yeah. Or Europe. Next, I have information about Nintendo Switch online services. Okay. eShop, most likely. Hopefully. With Nintendo Switch, you will, of course, be able to enjoy online multiplayer gaming. Of course. Splatoon. And when you use a smart device application that will connect to Nintendo Switch, uh, you will be able to invite friends to play online, set play smart device, and chat with friends while enjoying online matches and compatible games. Okay. All from your smart device. Hey! So that's. Users will be able to try out oh! Switch online services for free during a trial period after launch. Okay. Then it will become a paid service. Beginning in the hmm. fall of 2017. Um, what? We will provide additional details on this paid service and its features okay. on our homepage. Let's hope they back we'll out of that later. one. That does not sound like a good and idea. I hmm. have an Sounds like Xbox Live. I don't know. For our past systems, like Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, we designed them using region locking, which limited play to software sold in the same region mm -hmm. that the hardware was purchased. Okay. Why are they bringing up region locking? But, with Nintendo Switch, we have revised our approach and okay. decided that in general, we will not apply region locking to Nintendo Switch Oh! Software. Hey, nice. That's a good idea. 
can get anything. Here, anywhere. I would like to switch over to the man responsible <laughs> for all software development for Nintendo Switch and mobile applications, Mr. Shinya Takahashi. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. Already, and we've been able to cross off two things on our bingo. Yep. Good afternoon, everyone. I Good afternoon. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I Perfect. lead all Nintendo software development. Yep. Nintendo Switch has inherited DNA from each of the many hardware systems Nintendo has released to date. Yeah, the Wii U. The Nintendo Entertainment System included two controllers in the base system. Yep. Game Boy made it possible to bring video games out of the home. Yep. Super NES added the X and Y buttons yep. and the L and R buttons. Which to became the industry standards. Oh, yeah. Nintendo 64 offered the world's first analog control stick. Just don't use and your hand on it. It introduced <laughs> yeah. a rumbling controller with the development of, of the, the rumble, rumble pack. pack. Yep. You ready to rumble? I we put a know. handle on Nintendo GameCube so it could be carried around. Okay. Oh, I didn't that know that. Time, we were considering mm -hmm. a home game system that you could take with you, but it seems we were a little too soon. Yep. Oh. Just a Nintendo few DS years. added a touchscreen. Oh, With it's going to have a touch screen. Motion control became Hopefully. possible. Motion control. And the Wii U gamepad enabled you to play games off the TV. That's one of the now, best features. Nintendo Switch has inherited all of Nintendo's entertainment DNA. I think we can scratch out motion controls. One of these features into the system. Nintendo oh. is constantly pursuing Wait. new forms of entertainment to bring more fun and more Hello? smiles to the world. And the new entertainment we will present in 2017 is Nintendo Switch. Switch. Here we go. Another thing off the card. Yep. Yeah. And the dock. And the the console. console. Together Click. they go. HDMI, HDMI to the TV. Nintendo Switch is a video game system for the home. You connect it to the TV to play games. When you yep. want to play away from the TV, you just Attention. remove Nintendo Switch from the dock. Okay, and you can use the Joy-Con. Or, yep. When you attach the left and right Joy-Con controllers, you can continue playing anywhere. Yep. And that can make repairs easier Nintendo as well. Switch has been designed yep. to be a home console oh, gaming system on the side of the that gives you the freedom hmm. to change your playstyle. Hmm, we'll see. Alrighty. But yeah, that that can be quite a convenient game it's, it's system. I mean. But. Next, allow me to introduce the playstyles Nintendo Switch will offer. Alrighty. TV mode. There's Mario Kart. Yep. Play games on the TV in typical video game style. Oh, yes. Tabletop mode. Ah, with the kickstand. Stand the Nintendo Switch console up with its kickstand and play using the Joy-Con. You can now play video games in front of a screen with others wherever you like. Yep. Even away from the TV. And handheld mode. Handheld mode. This a is going to be a big the left and right joy -Con to the system. Making it a gamepad. Yep. Indoors, outdoors, or anywhere you like. Let's hope they made it durable. What do you think of handing a Joy-Con to a friend or family member and sharing the joy right then and there? <laughs> oh, is that why they called it that? I guess so. The battery life will vary by game, but it will range from two and a half hours to six and a half hours. Okay, that's six. fair enough. True, based on uh, power required. Be able to play yes! The system. Using the included AC adapter. Included! Certified portable batteries. That's a gr And portable batteries. That, that's a uses a capacitive touch panel. Touch screen. Already got that. Can connect over Wi-Fi for multiplayer battles. Okay. Like, there it is. And there is a local multiplayer. Oh! Gee, I wonder what game they got that for. Yep. And will that be 16 player Smash? Who knows? Maybe not. With its three play styles, 
Nintendo Switch evolves gameplay, making it more active and offering greater freedom of play. Yeah, you can play Next wherever. possible are the Joy-Con controllers. I'd like to, to hear more, more about, about the new types of play the Joy-Con will enable, and to tell you about Nintendo Switch software, I'd like to switch things over to general development producer Yoshiaki yep. Koizumi. Switch, huh? <laughs> I like how they switch people. Yep. <laughs> I am okay. Nintendo Switch General Development Producer Yoshiaki Kuzumi. It's great to be here. Great to be here too, sir. Controllers are very important when it comes to video games, right? Yes, they are. And I suspect all of you are wondering what the Nintendo mm -hmm. Switch Joy-Con are like. Oh, Allow yeah. Allow me to introduce them to you in detail. Turn down a little. These are the Joy-Cons set okay. in the Joy-Con grip. This is the basic style when playing on the TV. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Let's hope it's comfortable. Now, I'm pretty sure it let is. Let me remove the Joy-Con. Yeah, see, see in the back? Yeah, I know. These are the Joy-Con. I'm just wondering what those things are on the side where they connect. Most likely connectors. Probably, but it there's looks like there's some buttons in there, right too. Oh, those are... Each are those left... An analog stick. Yes, they are. And each stick can also be pressed like a button. Looks, so, yeah. looks like it. Yeah, I can see. I can see the markings on them. Mm -hmm. This Joy-Con has the familiar A, B, X, Y buttons. But I think it can and be used as a D... The home button. As a D-pad there. It's this Maybe. Shaped mark. Yep. There is an NFC reader writer. Yep. Bingo. Nope. Not, no, well, not no, bingo, no. but Even saying. As well. I'm not saying bingo as then we got Need bingo, it. but saying bingo. Yeah, I called as in, it. There it is. Look at the square button on this Joy -Con. Yep. I wonder what that is. This is the capture button for capturing screenshots of oh. your gameplay. They're oh. taking a cue from uh, PlayStation the future, there. It will be able to capture video as well. Not sure. Oh, oh. Capturing. oh okay. Good that might be good for Let's Players. Yeah. With friends over social media. Looks like uh, they did a little bit of work with Sony then. Or at least Maybe. took a, or at least took a cue from them. Accelerometer and gyro sensors, making independent left and right hey. like this possible. And I hope it's still there in Splatoon. That that really was a good a probably. Right here. Hey hey hey! He's pointing out those buttons. There are two buttons in the rail that connects the Joy-Con to the Nintendo Switch console. These are L and R buttons. Yep. Bingo. Because of this design, each Joy-Con can be used as a fully functioning individual controller. Yeah, that's... You can hand nice. a Joy-Con to the person next to you in many two-player games. Mm-hmm. We call this sharing the joy. <laughs> so, Nintendo Switch comes with two Ooh. controllers right from the start. Okay. But can you get more? And when you play with these Joy-Con, yeah, they good. fit in the palm of your hand just right, like this. Huh. And they feel very natural. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I have. I have, I'm like Rachmaninoff, though. I have big hands. Mm. You can release the tension from your shoulders and relax <laughs> while you play. <laughs> That's all for my Joy-Con introduction. Okay. Still, it's good to see those uh, buttons on the side there. But we still have many things to share about the Joy-Con. Okay. Oh, you do. Is he gonna make him disappear? Hmm. Or maybe let's, give him a new let's skin. Let's see. We have prepared Joy -Con bingo. No nope. <laughs> colors. Neon blue yep. Neon red. No, not bingo. I, yeah, I keep saying bingo. Yep. But we don't have bingo. <laughs> this. Oh. Wrist straps. So you don't throw them into your TV. Sorry if I keep saying bingo. We don't actually have bingo yet. As you probably see on screen right now. I simply like to say bingo. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, there's something you can put on there. Attaching to your wrist so you won't drop it. Mm-hmm. And it makes the Joy-Con easier to grip. Yep. All right. <laughs> There's always time for some table tennis. Yep. This is the type that will come with your Nintendo Switch system, but there will also be other colors sold separately. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
The right Joy-Con also has a motion IR camera that can sense the shape, motion, and distance of objects in front of it. It's right here. Oh? For example, it can tell the difference between rock, paper, and scissors. Okay. Not sure how useful that'll be. far away the hand that threw it is. This will make unique new control styles possible. Ooh. What's this? It feels like something shaking in a glass. Hmm? What is this? can convey to you the feeling of ice cubes colliding in a cup. Huh. New thing of a rumble pack, I guess. I don't know what that'll be used for, but... You can even tell. One. Two. Three. For conveying a sense of device. weight or something like that? And you can feel water filling the glass. Hmm. That'll be interesting. This new sense of realism is produced by the position of the new HD Rumble. HD Rumble? That's... Sounds... Sounds interesting. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now let's switch things up. These new sensing and vibration technologies... The Joy-Con itself boasts an expressiveness that invites the player to pick up the controller. Hmm. The Joy-Con offers more than just traditional video game controls. Yeah. It invites so it's... everyone to a new world of entertainment. Hmm, let's see. Allow me to introduce you to two new games made possible by the Joy-Con. Yeah, here we go. One everyone can play together, and one with depth, challenge, and replayability. All right. Let's switch to the game everyone can play together. Uh, Let's see. Wait, that sounds familiar. It's a western. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like Dylan's. Wait, this isn't Red Dead Redemption 2, is it? Nope. I sincerely doubt it. But yeah. I doubt that they would uh, do stuff here. Yeah. They were I more of an Xbox game, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah, it's it still might an old be, west. Yeah, it might just be an old west shoot 'em up. Yep. Yeah, it might be a dual mode. Who knows? Yep. In both senses. Yeah. Dual, as in two, and dual, as in this. Indeed. Yep. Oh, they're gonna pull out the gods. <laughs> I just figure. know it. Shutter, shutter. And. It's high noon. Put that in Rosewood's future self. And... Oh. Okay. Wait! Wild Gunman! That might be coming back! Nope. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Looks no, like they're bringing that uh, HD rumble into play here. Cool. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, a dueling game. In many different senses, it looks like. And I'm really hoping they do it well. <laughs> and it might actually be lighter than a Wiimote. Oh yeah, it's a lot smaller. Yep. Yeah. The Just Dance games, that, that was actually kind of a, a weakness, I kind of felt. Mm -hmm. I say kind of a lot, don't I? Kind of. One, two, switch. Hmm. Sounds like an interesting game. Hello, everyone. Hello? I'm Koichi Kamoto, the producer of One, Two, Switch. And I hope, I am let's just try to be a little more quiet. For Nintendo switch okay. Okay. One, One switch. two, switch! The expressiveness of the Joy-Con HD Rumble that was just introduced, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's a brand new kind of game, one that mixes up new kinds of play that haven't been seen before. Well, hmm. your typical video game has you playing while looking at some kind of screen, right? Yep, split screens. Oh, it's looking at each other. Auto Switch can be played without looking at any screen. So then, uh -huh. where exactly do you look? At your the opponent. Eyes of your opponents. <laughs> you look directly into the eyes of your opponent to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> then, will your opponent move? 
Since we don't have a camera, Dominic and I just looked very deeply into each other's eyes. Don't make that joke. Not your neck. Them. In other words, one to switch isn't a game you play facing the screen. It is a game that is primarily played for face-to-face -face interaction. Okay. So you can bring Nintendo Switch to parties and after parties, indoors it's a or big party outdoors, console, any place it? people gather or meet. Yep. You simply Social. One, stand mm -hmm. Nintendo Switch up. Two, grab the two Joy-Con. Three, hand one to a friend. Mm -hmm. And just like that, with these three steps, the place you're in becomes the game world and everyone is ready for fun. Okay. Just be, just make sure to put it on a stable to surface. To be a staple for mm. parties and to become an icebreaker for all kinds of fun communication. Hopefully not a switch breaker though. Fun to switch Hopefully. Features fun for everyone. Gameplay made possible by the Joy-Con. And it mm -hmm. releases. Well, not as long as you have those. Oh, it's and, and yes, indeed, it's it's a launch title, but I'm not scratching this out just yet. Yeah, we need some solid games, not just. That was one two switch. The game. But it looks like he might be giving us something more. Yep. Next, let's look at a game with depth, challenge, and replayability that uses the Joy-Con. Okay. New experience is born. Let's switch to it. Excuse me. And what's this? This is an interesting setting. Yeah. And, okay, my and I think a rule for the good launch lineup is three games that we think people will want to buy. Oh yeah. At the very least. <laughs> Japanese school gal. Yep. Uh, yep. Alrighty. And what's going on? Same game? Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Like? Maybe. Falcon! Punch! More like Slinky Punch. Yep. <laughs> I think they're both gonna get KO'd here. Ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> yep. I like the graphic style. Yep. <laughs> that looks like Street Fighter, though. More like Tekken. Except with spring loaded boxing. Yeah. the boxing. Oh. Get over here! Do I smell a new Smash character? <laughs> Hello, ugly. If this gets popular enough, I think it could just work as that. <laughs> Wait, Devo, how'd you get there? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I know, that's not her, but... Arm. This <laughs> nice. This guy has a uh, unique haircut. Not this guy, Hello, the last guy. Okay. I'm Kosuke Yabuki. Hello. Hello. I'm the producer of the Nintendo Switch game. Arms. New IP. Looks very interesting. Today, I'd like to introduce you all. Hope it has a story. Hmm. His hair kind of looks like a toothpaste, though. It's a fighting sports game that uses extendable arms to battle. Mm-hmm. It's like boxing, where you hit your opponent with punches. But it's also like shooting, where you aim and fire at distant opponents. So, it's like Springman got mass produced. But for two people to play it together, you need yeah. four Joy-Cons. Yeah. And I'm kind of hoping you can get them. Um, yeah, me too. Well, I'm pretty sure you will. I, probably. I sincerely doubt they'd make you uh, buy a second two, two switches. Yep. Your punch curves. 
With this, you can pursue a distant enemy. You move your character by tilting the Joy-Con. Okay. And by combining dashes and jumps, you can perform a variety of actions. And of course, blocking. Because mm -hmm. ARMS uses physical controls. Anyone can pick it up and play right away. Hmm. Yeah, of course, some people but will complain. It's motion controls. It sucks. High level techniques <laughs> and strategy. Yeah, well, if they didn't want motion controls, they shouldn't have bought it in now, the first place. I'd like to show yep. you a battle between two of our team members. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look. Springman. Ribbon Girl. Yeah. Oh, looks like a customizable in the game. Yep. Spring Man Oh, and you and try to aim. Yeah, try to aim true because if you miss you might leave yourself open to attack. Yep. They're trading punches back and forth. You can guard in this game. But they're practically battling without guarding at all right now. Yep. And you do have a grab, it seems. Yeah. And special moves. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. When did he become Ken? <laughs> As you saw. Yep. The most appealing part of arms is battling. Mm-hmm. Oh. You can battle alone against the computer. Mm-hmm. And you can play split screen against a friend. Yep. I think the gray joy cons will come with, and then you can buy more. Yep. <laughs> and of course, we're preparing online battles as well. Mm-hmm. It's nice to see they're bringing back uh, the old-fashioned split screen. Arms yep. This spring. Okay, it won't be a launch title, but who knows how good. God, what did you think? Hmm? Arms marks the emergence of Nintendo's newest characters. As you can see, Master Seriously, I think at least one of them is going to make it as a uh, Smash character. Okay. Yeah. Think about it. There's a lot there. Yeah. And watch out for that grab. Oh yeah. Switch to this. Okay. Oh hey! There is Splatoon. Yep. And the tentacle styles. So let's see if this is a sequel or a remaster. Yep. Sounds like they got a new tune. Squid Squad's back, baby! Wait! Is that dual wielding? I don't know. Squish! Yes, yes it is. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, and <laughs> they're instituting those in there. The eight grails! Chugga's gonna be happy. Oh, yeah. And dashing. Oh, wait, that's a new that's a new type of seeker. Yeah, kind of looks like a Roomba. Yep. And it looks and since there's not a second screen, you can oh ho, ho, ho. bouncing. Oh, there's a new cat. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> oh man. Pow, pow, pow. Oh man. oh man, it's gonna be a rainy day. And more an inky Ooh, a day. Jet pack. Or an ink pack, I guess you'd call it. That could be their up special if they ever Oh, the urchin. Hey. And Octarians are back. Hey Barry. Looks it looked like she was wearing a kimono. Splatoon 2, it's a sequel! Okay, it's a sequel. Oh wait, is this Good afternoon, everyone? I look I was well, wearing the Good evening code. over on this right. side. <laughs> yep. Researcher Dual wielders. Research lab who has spent day and night researching the mysterious squid creatures that can take on human form. I've been researching. Uh, I love these guys' trailers. Yep. And I do kind of hope it does have a I'm good sure single player mode. Sorry. It has been about two years since I first discovered the squid, and it seems there have been many changes to the squid world. Oh yeah. Yep. Is there hey, let's hope there's some awesome single player. Battles, where yep. the two teams compete to spray the ground with ink and covered most turf. Mm -hmm. This remains a popular sport, but it appears the battle stages have changed and yep. the passions and weapons used have also evolved. <laughs> there 
you see the latest piece of technology this weapon set is called the Splat Dooleys. Splat Dooleys? Not only do these dual wielded weapons let you shoot ink from each hand, but they also have nozzles that can propel you at a high rate of speed to help maneuver your I wonder weapons. if you'll be able to use the droid components to hand control hand them independently. Yeah. And Think about it, you could still move and you could aim which can be with them. After a yeah. Spring and a friend with ink are all brand new. Ooh. Surely with the introduction of new weapons, all new special weapons, and new battle stages, we will see mm -hmm. the emergence of new battle strategies. Yep. I expect our research will continue to keep us busy. Allow me to report briefly on controls. Of course, you can use the Joy-Con controllers, but you can also play using the Pro Controller. You mm -hmm. can play on a TV screen, and you can also play in handheld mode. Of course. Of course, in either mode. I wonder if there's some games that can't be handheld. Yes. You press the X button to view the map. Okay. To do a super jump, you press the button assigned to a teammate to instantly jump there. Okay. Of course, you can battle against friends and people you don't know over the internet. Mm -hmm. Yep. And. Can also bring your games and Nintendo Switch systems together to battle yep, local multiplayer. Face -to -face. Yep. <laughs> that is all from the Squid Research Lab. Thank you. But the oh, oh darn it, the duels. I almost forgot something very important. Splatoon two. Okay. Next time in the two pose. Is planned for launch this oh. summer. Okay, it's not a launch title. <laughs> and again, this time. But stage and weapon updates after launch. Yep. And there As we start to get used to the new to game. Ongoing in game events. Okay, so that's coming in. More Splatfest, I'm pretty sure. I'm Probably. I think a lot of people were surprised at who won the last one. Everyone all around the world. <laughs> oh yeah. Splatoon two. <laughs> nice. Let's hope they have uh, the Still, inklings doing that pose. Many okay. Many elements that we have yet to uncover. But okay, the you can. Research lab will continue to share new details as we okay. discover them. Thank you for your time today. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, you left some there, buddy. Yep. What squid what? do you think? This brand new version of Splatoon arrives this summer. Mm -hmm. It for some hot matches. Okay. Next. Chugga is gonna Switch have. To this. Yep. Oh, what are... Hello, what's this? I don't know. I thought it was Platoon again because of that poster, but. Except it's in English. Yeah. New yeah. Donk City? What's gonna come out of the manhole? Mario? Oh. <laughs> Baba Mia! I mean, we all Did knew. Did he bark? <laughs> I mean, we all knew there Wait, was gonna be. Wait, he's in a. Wait, is this a Donkey Kong City? I don't know, but we all knew this was going to be a new title. With Whoa! This. And there's actual humans. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait, is this an open-world Mario game? Maybe. <laughs> Looks like there's more than one. He's taking Wait, a... could this be, um, Galaxy? Galaxy... Oh, Galaxy 3! Maybe they finally got, found some bigger planets. Yep. <laughs> they just needed some power. And that wheel move, it looks like he took that from... He borrowed that from Sonic. Mm -hmm. Vegetable. Angry Cook Koopa. And a top hat ship? <laughs> Ooh, it's cold there. <laughs> yeah, I bet he'd be real good at jump rope. Yep. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> yep. Crazy. Ooh. Yeah, he. Suddenly he becomes a James Bond. Oh, oh my gosh! They've suddenly all a become boomerang? James Bond villains. A boomerang hat? And he can jump on it, too. <laughs> Sorry, Yoshi. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Bowser. You're a jerk. Oh, no, who are they? Maybe some of Nabbit's relatives. Maybe. Mm hmm. 
Uh oh. Why always the Empire State Building? Super, Super Mario, Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. Mm. Oh. Wait, does he have to? Oh, what's in his hat? Oh, his, his hat's oh, alive. Oh, boy. <laughs> he has a living hat. Of course he does. No. Okay. Hello, everyone. Sorry for my appearance. I'm <laughs> Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey. Looks like they'll have something new to show off at the Olympics. Yep. <laughs> I simultaneously have a hand in the Mario game, Super yep. Mario Odyssey. <laughs> this is the first time since Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine that we have created a large Mario sandbox world like this hmm. for you to run around. It in. is a sandbox. Yeah, I'm, the theme of Mario not my biggest personal thing, but world. oh man, that's gonna be an appealing to appeal to a lot of You like linear, people. I like sandbox. Mm -hmm. you Nothing's wrong with linear, by the way. The no. World. Yep, linear has its advantages. Mm-hmm. Okay. At the end of the video, perhaps some of you have noticed some unusual eyes or something on Mario's cap. Oh, yep. right here. Yeah, it's alive. Right there. It looks it. Wait, did this Bowser destroy his original hat? Offers action that can only be experienced hmm. on Maybe. Nintendo Switch. Hmm. This cap character plays an important role in Mario's journey. Yep. I hope you'll look forward to it. In the 20 years since we made Super Mario 64, I have been on a long, Sonic long speed together with Mario. <laughs> and we are working on this new journey called Nintendo Switch with the excitement one feels when visiting unknown countries for the very first time. <laughs> I'll be very happy when you can all join me in departing on this new Mario journey on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> we plan yep. to release Super Mario Odyssey in the holiday season later this year. Okay. Well, it's not going to be a launch title, but ways out, you won't no. be able to play the game today. So I hope to well, offer you a we chance can't. to try it out at another time. So please wait a little yeah. longer. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Certainly and thank you. Thing. Yeah. Oh, and what's this? Oh, it's Monolith. Is this Zelda? Hmm. Or a new Xenoblade. Xenoblade. Definitely Xenoblade. Something's moving. Yeah, it okay. looks different. Mm hmm Let's uh, see. Ah. Hmm. Elysium of the Blue Sky? What? Hmm. I'm not sure I've heard of that. That was on one of the music sheets. Oh. Th that's probably the location. It it's theme. Maybe. It doesn't look like it's um, Xenoblade. Hmm. That's a tree. Mm hmm. Okay. What is it? Hello. That's a cool looking sword, though. Mm hmm. Maybe that's. If it is a Xenoblade, maybe it's the new Monado, but who knows? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think X that had the Monado. That looks like a giant dragon, though. Yep. Or a dragon whale. Yeah, that looks like a dragon whale. <laughs> Yep. yep. Oh, okay. I was right. It is a Xenoblade, Xenoblade 2. 2. Okay, I guess... I guess one of the uh, creatures now has a growth. Okay. Pretty big one, too. Well, Shulk reformed the world after the first one. Spoiler <laughs> alert, but Kame Teka. Te the Warriors. This is Warriors. Okay, I, I think. Oh. Wait. This wait is, a second. This is Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Warriors? Wow. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting this. You can hack and slash through hordes of mindless mooks with flashy maelstroms. Sorry, Josh. I wonder how he's reacting. I'll have to watch that after this. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Okay. 
Falchion. Oh, hello. What you just saw was Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Koei Tecmo's latest game, Fire Emblem Warriors. Yep. <laughs> Next, I'd like to introduce our third party partners. Okay, more th third party. The Nintendo Switch concept has resonated with many developers, and there mm -hmm. are currently over 50 companies working on games. Yep, we saw that big list. And yep, speak of the devil, there it is. 80 games in development. Oh. <laughs> so today, we'd like to introduce just a few of them. All righty. All right, let's let's see. A see. I'm interested for these. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping some indie Square games. Phoenix the has next. already announced that they are preparing Dragon Quest X. Uh-huh. That's right. Dragon Quest XI. For release wow. On Nintendo That's Switch a lot of Dragon in Quests. Japan. Indeed. <laughs> let's hope they still have slime. But Slimes. There is another Dragon Quest game making an appearance. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 for Nintendo hmm. Switch. Oh, boy. Hmm. Okay. Now, take a look at this. Trailer time. Trailer. Is this Dragon Quest or, no. or Final Fantasy? This looks post-apocalyptic. Oh, it's Atlas. Hopefully it's not Tokopon Kingdom 2. wonder why they aren't showing it up on our screen. Hmm, who knows? Oh, it's Persona! Yep. Or Shin Megami Tensei. One of the two. Oh, it's on Unreal 4. Yep. Yeah, the Switch can handle that, I found out. Unreal. They tweeted. Unreal yeah. 4 is a good engine. Yeah, Unreal tweeted it themselves. Yep. Ruby, are you in there? Okay. Oh. Hello, ugly. Uglies, I mean. Well, not all of you, but... And who are you? Huh. Hmm. I dunno. Rose petals? And... I can't read Japanese. Atlas and Sega. I don't know if that's Shin Megami Tensei. Don't shoot me, please. Mm. Oh, but here's... This looks familiar. Huh. Hello. Wait, it's not. It's not a Chrono Trigger thing. Huh. Sounds like it's a sandbox game. Project. Oh. Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler. Hmm. Okay. What you just saw was the latest game in the Atlas series, Shin Megami Tensei, yep. which celebrates its 25th anniversary there it this goes. year. Development has only just begun. Okay, so, so that's not going to be a launch title. Definitely today. not. Mm -hmm. So. And the other mm -hmm. title is a brand new RPG from Square Enix. Yep. The art style well is reminiscent of something. Graphic style and sense of scale. Yeah. Final Fantasy, Please Nick. Duh. It, it's, it looks just like now, sprites I've seen of, 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 of six in it. On new games mm -hmm. for that and a couple switch. others. Hmm. Okay. To start, let's switch over to this individual. Okay. Hello. Oh. Hello, everyone. I'm Toshiro Nagoshi from Sega. Gotta go fast! Indeed. Sega sees a tremendous amount of appeal in Nintendo Switch and intends mm -hmm. to be present on the platform. Already. Similarly, I, as an individual creator, sense a new kind of appeal with this game hardware. Sega! We will consider new games for Nintendo Switch, and we'll present them soon. Alright. Alright. Oh yeah, they already confirmed one game. Taking on new challenge, 
and has a lot of appealing points. And I would like to uh, take advantage of this new concept and create uh, an, accept an interesting game. Thank you very much for your time today. Mm -hmm. yep. Thank you, Nagoshi-san. Continuing on, let's switch to this person. I am Todd Howard here. Todd Howard, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Skyrim. Oh my gosh. They really were showing it. Question is, is it original or special edition? Skyrim's a great game. Mm -hmm. I just recently got back into it because of special edition. Yep. Okay. Well, now you don't have to. Now you can play Skyrim wherever you want and take it on your own adventures. Mm -hmm. Todd Howard is awesome. What dryad. What was really exciting is for all of us at Bethesda to finally work with Nintendo. You look at all they've done for video games over the decades. Todd Howard is as big a so nerd as any of us. And yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like how he's standing in front of the dragon wall. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Todd Sod. Todd Sod. Let's switch to this person. Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh! oh! Wait. We're, are we getting we're no more heroes? Or something new? Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh, translator. Hello. So, today I'd like to start. Um, I've, been, I've been invited to come to this event, and I'd like to talk about. Sounds like uh, something flushed through the I translator there. Yeah. Do you all remember the one guy from Santa Destroy who was born out of a oh, Noom. Okay. More mature content. That's two games that are most likely going to be rated M. Now all we need is WarioWare. Wah! We'll try this strikes again. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. The title hasn't been decided yet. Yeah. But as long as a certain pizza head doesn't come back. Hmm. I've been going to some events. Sounds like the translator is having some issues there. Yep. And I've been discussing with changing ideas with uh, the indie game community mm -hmm. and we've been discussing about uh, ideas for the new Nintendo Switch console. Okay. And uh, I've heard that it's is everything alright on their end, I wonder? No clue. Yeah. He, he might just be flustered. Yeah. Once they give him a break, I'm sure he'll be able to catch up with himself. Indie, uh, yeah. Developers. And so that matches with what we are uh, expecting in a gaming development process. Okay. <laughs> and so, this one game that I'm working on right now uh, hmm. will be something that will take advantage of this uh, uh, environment that it's easy for uh, indie developers to create a game. Okay. And so Friendly for indies. Have Indeed. That will have a fusion of death matches and strong styling, sort of heavily involved, uh, heavily influenced by pro wrestling. Okay. <laughs> and I'd love to see Travis running around um, in the game for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you very much for your time today. It was okay. a Grasshopper Suda 51 cents. <laughs> Alright, back to good Thank you, Suda san. Next, we switch to this guest. Okay. Hello. It's a huge honor and privilege to be here today. Okay. And of the EA. team at Electronic Arts. Calm down on the microtransactions, then we'll be okay. It's like a dream. Okay. Electronic Arts no. Donuts are played. Oh, that's Bill. For as long as I've played I, I, games, is that Bill? I've been a massive fan I, I of the think it is. platforms, an amazing culture of creativity. So much so that when my firstborn son was born, my wife and I gave him the middle name Luigi. <laughs> which actually, which actually means, I think, brave warrior. Mm. Although, 
despite him. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. As long as he doesn't turn into a rabbit, but that's already taken. Mm-hmm. Never been a big fan of sports games. Yeah. Unless they were goofy. Yeah. Unless they were goofy. Yeah. Yeah. FIFA. FIFA on Nintendo Switch will be the most immersive, social, authentic sports game ever created. Well, yeah, this... Except for the myriad glitches. Yeah. But if it, but yeah, this this could actually be a good platform for it, Allow, allowing people to bring their switches together and. I mean, they did already show this in the trailer. Mm -hmm. That was actually. Or, well, that was Madden. No, 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 no that was NBA. Whichever. It was a sports game. Yeah, but let's not Madden them. Indeed. If you're at the park, at your friend's house, or on vacation, mm -hmm. you can always stay connected to the biggest matches. Yeah, I'm You'll pretty sure that is Bill. And get on the pitch with your favorite players and teams. So he probably has something to say. Iconic stadiums Possibly. around the world. Yep. All with the unmatched authenticity hmm. and depth that FIFA is known for. Yep. And after all, it is one of the most... Um, hold on one second. It is one of the soccer, or football, if you're inside the U.S. One of the most popular sports in the world. True. Well, the baseball's been taken hold in Japan. Yep. We'll have much more to say and show in the coming months as we bring the world's game to Nintendo Switch in 2017. Alrighty. Okay, this has been going on for 50 minutes. I'm good with stay until the end. Mm -hmm. I just hope the end's not at 1 o'clock here. Mm. Yep. Okay. Hello? Thank you very much to Patrick and all of our guests. We are very excited about okay, Spider-Man and FIFA. And are very excited to see what kind of new Pretty sure they might pull out Zelda. Create. Yeah, well, we already know quite a bit about and that. With that. I'd like to bring my portion of the presentation to an end. Yep. Thank you. His portion. There's still more. Of course there is. Hmm? Yeah, that was Minecraft, I think. Yep. Well, it's on the Wii U, Nick. Yeah, I know. Mm hmm. But is, is that it, or...? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Yeah. He said my portion. Yeah. I, I know I said that, but... Yep, there's our slimes! Oh, this Rayman! might just be an intro. Lego? Burakai! Nope! This might just be an uh, intermission. Hmm. So uh, they can set up the next thing. Yep. And... <laughs> Gotta go fast. Yep. And Ubisoft. Yep. Well, what's this? Oh. Yep. Oh, okay. Here it comes some. Hell. Yep. I saw some VC there. Me too. Indie games. This is one of the other indie games. Shoot, what was it? Oh, fast it's racing! This. Arms. Mario Kart. <laughs> With King Boo. Yep. NBA. Yep, the NBA. Click. Hmm? What did you think? Ah, uh, yeah. Back to this guy. As you just saw, we were preparing to offer a rich assortment of games. Mm -hmm. Both from Nintendo and a number of third-party partners. Alrighty. But is there more? <laughs> Don't know. Today, you heard from some of these developers. Yeah, they're Nintendo summing it up. Working hard Maybe. inside Nintendo to develop original game content. 
Mm-hmm. In addition to the franchises our fans have loved, we will also... <laughs> During this presentation, Sorry, just had to restart allow me the to recording. Share with you our Nintendo Switch product configurations. Okay. The Nintendo Switch system will include. Include. The Nintendo Switch console. Of course. A left and a right Joy-Con. Joy-Con wrist straps. Mm-hmm. The Joy-Con grip. The Nintendo Switch dock. Uh, an HDMI cable, oh, cool. and an AC adapter. Right. The Pro Controller will also be available separately. Mm-hmm. There will be two versions. One mm -hmm. model with gray Joy-Con controllers, and another model with one neon blue and one neon red Joy-Con. All right. Both versions will be the same suggested retail price. Right. Nice. We have shared a great deal of information with you through this presentation. And more details will be available now it does on our Nintendo like Switch homepage after this presentation. Okay, we'll need to take a look at that ourselves. But first, I would like to ask Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America to share their messages with their fans okay. around the globe. Yahoo! Take it away. Oh right, I heard about those. There are some going to be some events here in America too. Within the next few hours, these events will kick off in Frankfurt, Paris, and London. Oh. I know that lots of you will be wondering when you can get your hands on Nintendo Switch to try it out. In the coming months, we will hold more of these events to find out when and where you can have your own. Yep, the I'm the sure usuals. I will join mm -hmm. some of the events, so I hope to see you very soon. Now I will hand you over to Reggie in New York. Reggie! Thank yeah. you for watching and happy gaming. Okay. What Just you got so for us, Reggie? Thanks, Shibata san, and hi to everyone watching in the American Mm-hmm. It's the midnight hour here in New York. The oh. streets are quiet. Same here. Yep. We're here getting ready to show off Nintendo Switch to a small group tomorrow. But okay. you may get your own chance to play well before launch. Because Nintendo Switch will be on display on six separate Sundays in six different cities across North America before you can buy it in stores. You can mm. find all the details on Nintendo.com. Yeah, slash yeah, this was actually up before. You have to show up mm -hmm. There's no shortage of players who can't wait to test drive our new system. Reasons are now clear. First, the wider look we've just seen at what this revolutionary form of gaming yeah. and new ways to play are all about. Second, those amazing controllers, the Joy Con, which combine all the gameplay innovations Nintendo's invented and then adds to it. But of course, the biggest buzz is reserved for the games. And man, what games? No question, there's a lot in the world. But let's be honest. One thing is missing. But if you listen carefully, maybe you can hear it. Us? Floating in the air. Yep, there it is. The soundtrack for what's been far and away the most anticipated mm. Nintendo Switch yep. game right from the start. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Of the Wild. So, where is it? Well, it'll be here at a special event elsewhere in New York tomorrow. Huh. I 
obviously some sneaky Nintendo employees have been playing during this presentation. So let's go over there and see what these guys have to say. <laughs> yeah, so that coming. Oh, hey. Miyamoto, <laughs> what are you gonna do? How do you like it? What do I need? Good. Well, he's. Oh, he's the You know everything about the game. Certainly, you must know when are we launching a game. Wow. There's nothing left for me to do but to throw it back to Tokyo. And Mr. Kimishima, do you have the answer to that question? We're waiting. Shibata-san, Reggie-san. Miyamoto-san, and Aonuma-san, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You've left me with a very important task, but I'll have to come back to your question in a second. Okay. The Nintendo Switch launch is just around the corner on March yeah. 3rd. Yeah, we know. He said. Tomorrow and the next day, we'll hold a Nintendo Switch hands-on event at the big site in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. We'll begin taking pre-order reservations at retail. Hey. Japan, starting January 21st. Alrighty. I hope that we've shown enough to earn your support. Okay. Well, we didn't get Bingo yet. Now, we do have one last thing to share with you today. Yep. I knew it. Before we do, I would like to humbly... And sincerely, thank everyone here for listening. It's going to be Zelda, isn't it? No, I heard a very familiar theme. No, this is Zelda. Maybe. Pretty sure it is. Yawn. Sorry. Yep, it's Zelda, all right. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'll cross that off. Oh, well, there's the sword. Poor Fee. Mm-hmm. There's our hero. Not in green this time, though. Nope. Scaling a sheer rock wall. Yeah. Is this Japanese or Hyrulean? No clue. Yeah, I'm Yep, the Guardians. Uh-oh. Scary Peggy! Run! Oh, the Deco Tree. Oh, Zelda. I think that is. Maybe. Did I see Linkle there for a second? No, I think that's Zelda. Oh, 
Goron! Very... Uh. And I'm pretty sure that's a Rita. And a Zora! Breath of the Wild. Yep. And it looks like it is going to be featuring a lot of voice acting. Yeah. Sounds like it, at least. Launch title. Yep. <laughs> and I can, I think. That may that be, may be it. That may just be it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that, that's everything. Yeah. And I we, knew well, you wouldn't get everything we were hoping for, but. Yeah. But still. And while we still have a month and a half or so, we still have quite a bit. True. Oh, racks. Hmm. Anyways. Yep, we've got quite a bit. Oh, wait, I missed one. Doggone, the more peripherals. But that... Oh, yeah, I'll mark that when we when they bring it up in the video. Nope. Sorry about that. But yeah, there's so quite a bit we can hope for. Definitely. From, yeah. Super Smash Bros. for the Switch. Metroid Prime 4. If they do pull through on that. Yep. Well, hope the mic caught everything. That was good. Yeah, the mic did seem to work. That's good. Might need to up the volume a little. But... Maybe, but we were kind of quiet and far from the mic. Yeah, it was a bit. But still. Yeah, and I, I'm going to need to explain the little lull. But yeah. But yeah. But anyway, thank you for listening to us go on for about an hour. And we hope we hope you enjoyed and I hope we enjoy the switch when it comes out on the third. I think we will. Okay. And with that Vivatis Deal et Fortunatis Quay. Night folks. <laughs>